Okay. So we just saw the video parking lot. And I wonder if there are any just general observations that people have before we talk about it more specifically in relationship to the show. Like, what, you, what were you thinking about when you saw Natalie Bookchin's video parking lot? It was very funny and the shopping carts falling off the stairs. <laughs> I don't know, it just, things tipping. It's funny. Yeah, from the bank, have you ever done anything right in the parking lot? Yeah, it's been around and... Why? It's like, I don't know, it's just being like a kid. <laughs> it's funny. I agree. <laughs> there's something in the video that's like being a kid, and there's a lot of like joy and movement, yeah. and just kind of being out there and stuff, and you thought it was funny, and it reminded you. Other just general responses to the video parking lot that people had. Yeah. You don't just and learned a lot more things you can do in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, um, probably the one with the soda, and then you pop it up, and everything, and dancing, and it's cool. Okay, why do you want to do stuff like that? Um, I don't know. It's just entertaining. Okay. So, so far there's this, there's a lot of, ple like, I do, like, pleasure in the kinds of th fun things that the kids are doing in the parking lot. It's very much about things that kids do in our society, and they're documenting them and putting on YouTube. Why do they do them in parking lots? Kid, I guess. Again. It's the only place for them to, you know, no. Lots of space so they can. Oh. Are you scared? Yeah. No, not much. Um, I think uh, it's for them to experience how they want to feel. Like if they want to dance, they can just dance in a parking lot. You know, do all that crazy stuff. I agree, but why, can't you, why do you do crazy stuff in a parking lot? Like, where else could you do crazy stuff? I don't know. You don't know, do you? The only parking lot is all I know. Parking lot is a place you do crazy stuff too. Yeah. Okay. We all like there's parking lots everywhere in our society. There's a question that you find the parking lots in our society to find more car. And you think of them as a place that's sort of a free place. Yeah. Why? Why not? It's not in a parking lot. That I do not know. Anyone that just thinks there's no like cops or security or anything. It's like public for everybody. Okay. Now, what's weird about your idea, because I agree with you, it's a public experience. Is a parking lot a public space really? Yeah. No. You think it is. I'm not saying you're right or wrong. No. Uh, I think it's a prop. I'm thinking it's the property of whatever store or mall, whatever it's at. It's not public at all. What are the public places that we know? The park. The park. You guys do stuff in the park? Yeah. Okay. Well, then why are the parking lots public? Because they're not public. Um, I think a parking lot is like where you roam free and you get to do like crazy. Things and whatnot, and um, in a park. I mean, sometimes, like in the daytimes, you like just, just like on the swings or whatever. But it's. I mean, there's nothing to do over there, cause like um, there's kids and adults. In parks. <laughs> in parks, and. Um, in a, but in a parking lot, yeah, you, you could do whatever you want and do what, all those crazy things. I know. So. so parking lots, they're corporate spaces. They're owned by a corporation. They're owned by, when we see the signs all over the video, Walmart, Target, <laughs> parks are owned yeah. by our government. And they're not, they don't feel as free or liberated to corporate spaces. That's what I'm hearing. And it's a kind of strange contradiction. I'm wondering if any
Well, it's like, it is, I don't think it really matters where you go. I mean, because kids are always going to have, like, the biggest imagination and do what they want, like, whether it's owned by the government or not, yeah. you know? So it's like in your house or in the street or, you know, in a parking lot or in a park. So kids have the capacity to find freedom wherever they are. Again, can you guys find it at home as easily as in a parking lot? Not really. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just maybe because your parents are there all the time, or I don't know. So parking lots in the video have kind of some liberated space where there are parents, there are police, there are grown-ups, there are kids. It's a place where like, young people can kind of take over the space, but like, a lot of the videos are not Let me ask you a different question. Why are people videotaping? Putting it on YouTube. Try to see if someone else. What do you guys want to answer? On this side? Mentors are allowed. And people in the back. Anyone? Why are they videotaping it? What we were talking about before in relation to your comment, the world seeing it, remember? They like to express themselves and then have fun. I just think it's weird that people would feel as free in a parking lot, and it kind of goes hand in hand, because I mean, if you guys ever go in a parking lot, you could just sit there and look, and nobody really pays attention to anyone else. So I think that's also another component of why people go to a parking lot to do weird things, because no one else really pays attention to it. So they can feel connected in a group, but at the same time, they don't have people like, hey, knock that off, da 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 So they're also isolated in the same way. You know, one of the things we've been talking about is how isolation and connection go hand in hand. And you're actually right. Like, you're with your group of friends, feeling very connected, and no one else is paying attention. And those are sort of the rules of corporate culture, too. Like, if you're in your school, or if you're in your house, or if you're in a park, and people are misbehaving, you have a kind of obligation, a social contract, to say, like, hey, stop setting the, setting the thing on fire, or whatever, right? In a parking lot, you're in this corporate space, and you're like, eh, whatever, my job is to, like, be not in a community, you know? I, I think it's a really interesting point. Other thoughts about isolation and connection and parking lots? Okay, anyone else wanna say something about the video before we finish? Any last thoughts? Or about what we talked about today or about what you made your video on or anything else? Scott, James. Um, yeah, I thought that was what you pointed out was something I had thought of uh, while watching it. The the idea of parking lots being a transient space, somewhere where people, the whole purpose is that it's you park a car because you're coming from somewhere to go into somewhere. So it's not an actual space where anyone stays ever. The there are physical objects there, but when there are no physical objects there, it's a space that doesn't really house a purpose. 
So a lot of those videos are shot at night when a parking lot doesn't really have the purpose that it's there for. And so what does that mean when it's then, then it does become this idea of like a free space or a public space that it, it when office hours or business hours close, there's no real reason for it to exist, but it's still there. It still houses this idea that, that you're right, that no one really ever pays attention to uh, what other people are doing in a parking lot. People can be doing crazy stuff in a parking lot. You try and get into the store or get out, and that's, that's your purpose when you're there, when you're doing what a parking lot is built for. I think that's a really great point, and I like this idea of a transient space, like a space between things. And a lot of what our show has been about is thinking about how there's a space in between a room and a computer, and we're trying to figure out what that place is as another transient place, so I appreciate that comment. Okay, well thank you all very much. We look forward to seeing you again three, or three more times. Um, and you're gonna see some artists um, showing their work to you live as part of the show. And um, thank you all for participating. Please have some um, snacks, and um, we'll keep talking in the, with the cookies. <laughs> okay. And thank you again. Thanks, Scott. Okay.